Visualize this for me, if you will. A young boy walking down a dirt road in India. He walks upon a guru who is squatted on the ground, who has this wonderful object in his hand. And as young men are wont to do, he walked over and he said, what is that you have? And the guru told him, he said, that's a cocoon. He said, well, what is a cocoon? He said, inside this cocoon is a very beautiful multicolored butterfly. Little boy was just overwhelmed with that information. Was really kind of in a position, he says, well, can I have that? And the guru thought about it for a few moments and said, yes, I'm gonna give this to you, but I wanna give you a caution. He says, a cocoon, at some point, you're gonna see that beautiful white opaque item begin to vibrate, and it will vibrate more violently than what you think such a small order could do. And eventually you're gonna see the cocoon start to tear apart. I will give you this if you make a commitment to me that when you see the vibration and the cocoon starting to tear open, that you will not tear the cocoon open. You'll see the beautiful butterfly, but you must not tear that cocoon open. And the little boy responded to the guru and said, wait, I can do that. And so he gave him this cocoon. Now the happiest little boy walking down that dirt road made his way home and he looked at his mother and said, Mom, he says, I've got a cocoon. So this young man sat as many hours of a day as he could outside of school watching that cocoon. And eventually he began to see a small vibration begin to take place in the cocoon. Soon he saw the cocoon begin to split apart. At that moment, he had forgotten what the guru said because he felt so transfixed with all of this beauty that he could see of this multicolored butterfly that he pulled it apart. The butterfly was flapping its wings vigorously, trying to get out of the cocoon. And so when he pulled it apart, the cocoon, the butterfly flew up a little bit fell to the ground and died. The little boy with tears in his eyes grabbed up the dead body of this beautiful butterfly, running down the road, saw the, the guru, and he said, my butterfly died. The guru looked at him and he said, you did exactly what I told you not to do. You pulled that apart, didn't you? Yes, I did. Tearfully, he said, he did. The guru said, what you had failed to understand is that by the vigorous flapping of the wings is how that beautiful butterfly was gaining the strength to be able to soar from the cocoon, to fly away and do what butterflies do forever. So in our community, we're walking with young people in different, different moments of life. Some are navigating systems and coming back into the community from probation. And in that process, holding space for young people to be able to struggle and them knowing that you're still gonna be present through that struggle and after that struggle uh, is exactly what Keepers of the Cocoon is about. It's about continuing to hold that space, knowing that sometimes it's that struggle that allows them the strength to fly.